Good day to you and how you be everybody. Um, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about three tips that I want to share that will improve your screen printing that I, while I was printing this whole month, I was writing down these nice little tips that we don't even focus on and what a big difference it does to you if you start implementing these little tips and watching out for them. Let's do this. Three tips to avoid the too much off, okay? So tip number one. This tip is more of a technical, you know, reason why we shouldn't do the off contact too high. Having a proper off contact, it's basically how your print is gonna come out. If you have too much off contact, forget it. Something like this, that is too much off contact. Once you have that, you're gonna see that the print is garbage, man. It don't look smooth, um, it, it looks smudged, that's blurry, the sharpness is not there. If you're going through that, it's the off contact, it's too high. Now when it's too low and you're using something like plastisol ink, that also gonna give you a problem because that means it's gonna smudge and the other thing is that it's not going to deposit a lot of that white plastisol ink to that shirt. So too high, not good. Too low, no good when it comes to um, white plastisol ink or a lot of opacity ink with a high opacity, they tend to be much thicker. You're going to need a proper off contact. Now, how do you get an, a proper off contact? Here's a little trick that I learned. All you have to do is cut a cardboard box, which is a cardboard box, the thing is almost there near to a 1 16th of an inch. That's proper. But when you cut the box, don't cut it to be exactly on the frame of the screen. You don't want that. You want it to be touching the only the mesh, not the frame. Because depending on your mesh, you know, if your mesh is a little tight, yeah, it's good. You, you it's, it's, it'll, align with the frame but if it's a little loose it's not gonna align with the frame so I advise cut a cardboard put it on the palette like this then bring down the screen already on your clamp and you see let it let it fall right on top of the cardboard now you're gonna come and adjust your um, head your clamp head to make sure that it's stuck right there stop it there um, align it there that is make sure it's there and then you lift up your screen and once you remove that cardboard, you're gonna drop it and it's gonna have that off contact you're looking for. And make sure when you do this, if you're gonna do it, do it with a t-shirt, put a t-shirt on. And if you're gonna do it with a hoodie, put the hoodie on and then the cardboard. But that is the off contact. Cause the off contact is so important, man, when it comes to nice, beautiful prints. A lot of people think that um, the squeegee is about pushing ink through the screen and it's really not, it's like a shear. That blade is it's just slicing that ink right through it and when you lift, it keeps that ink that you just left over and sliced up, it stays on your shirt and it should give you a nice sharp, smooth feel print. But if your print feels not sh looks not sharp and it feels rough, check out your off contact, most likely. That's the problem, right? So let's go to tip number two. How much squeegee pressure is too much? Well, first, this is a squeegee. As durometer, as a 60 durometer, 70 durometer, triple durometer, I will advise you to keep it into a single durometer. If you're using a 70, 70. Stay away from that triple durometer crap, all right? The other one is, the best thing that been going on for years is this wood handle. This wood handle is the best. It's other people gonna come up with all the gadgets and all that, but let me tell you, wood handle is the best when it comes to screen printing. Nothing beats it. The metal one is good, 
We're gonna talk about that in another video of why you should use a metal for certain things when it comes to screen printing. But wood handle for your beginners, this is what you're looking for, okay? The other thing that you want is whatever you're using, you don't want the squeegee when you're pressing that, it's not straight, it, 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 it kind of warps. Stay away with that, throw that in the garbage. The other one is you don't want to put too much pressure if your squeegee is bending. You see the way it's bending? That bend, you don't want that. That is too much pressure. The other one is if you are, pu are bending, bending so much and still no ink is being deposited, is that you're using too, too much of a high mesh count. So bring down, maybe you're using a 200 or 160, I think you should go to a 110 and you don't have to bend that squeegee like that, all right? Because remember, the squeegee not supposed to bend, it's supposed to only flex. Give it a nice little flex, just like that. A nice flex, that's what you're looking for on a squeegee. These are other things that you should know if you are putting too much pressure. One is you take out the shirt and there's ink on your palette. Too much pressure. And you relax a little. The other one, if um, you're getting blurry prints, remember we already did the off contact from tip number one. You should not get no blurry prints, so that means it's too much pressure if you're getting blurry prints. You know, that's the thing with the squeegee. And remember, the squeegee not supposed to bend. Look at it, it's supposed to flex, only a little flex. And that is tip number two when it comes to squeegee. Am I doing too much pressure? on a squeegee. Now let's go to tip number three. Tip number three is, am I placing too much ink on my mesh to work, to pull or to push is too much ink? Well, these are two little things you should know when it comes to placing ink on your screen. One, it's not really gonna affect your print. That's a good thing you're gonna avoid of going back and forth and placing ink. But the thing you're gonna do is, that ink is gonna be all over the squeegee. It's gonna go all the way to the top of the squeegee. It's gonna move, it's, it's just gonna be all over the frame. That's a lot of cleaning after that. So don't place a lot of ink on your screen. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you. Look at that, I just cleaned out, but do you see any ink above that touching this here? No. That means that is how, that's how you're gonna know that you have proper amount of ink on your screen. Now, if you're, if you're working and your squeegee has ink all the way up, all the way the whole squeegee, even coming out, all the way over here, down here like this, oh my God. That's a lot of work at the end of the job, man. So keep your squeegees like this, nice and clean. Keep them nice and clean. But if you do 200 prints and you still have some of that squeegee right there on the top with no ink, that means your angle is perfect and you're past and you're placing enough proper ink on your mesh. You're not overdoing it. Yes, I could overdo it so I don't have to keep going back and forth. No, you're gonna spend more time cleaning your squeegees and your squeegees are gonna look like shit, man. Come on, don't do that. Just place, place enough to do at least 30, 30 shirts, then come back again. Don't take no time. It will be then all the squeegee, all the wood handle, trying to get all that ink out of that corner, out of inside that blade. It's the worst thing, man. So those are the three tips in today's video. I hope you um, check them out. Look at your squeegees, look at your pressure, look at your off contact. Very, very important for your print game. So if you like this video, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always. Just let God take your note. Peace.